since the third grade, I knew that I wanted to work with people with special needs. We lived in Louisiana for a year. Um, my dad was working there. We were only there for one year, and my regular ed teacher sent me on a mission to deliver a note to the special education classroom. Um, and as soon as I walked in, that was, that was all it took. I became their protector, their defender. I'd sit at the lunch table with them and make sure that nobody messed with them. And from that point on, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. I teach the transition to adulthood class for students with special needs ages 14 and they can stay until they're 22. The LIFT grant has just given us, the students and myself, the opportunity to provide them with vocational training experiences, um, things that are going to help them now and in the future after graduation. Um, we're working on communication skills, social skills, money management, time management, um, you know, clocking in, putting on a uniform. Um, checking the schedule to know what your job duties are for the day. Um, just building on all of that for life after graduation and them actually having, you know, jobs out in the community um, has been just a phenomenal experience for them. I've seen them grow in ways that have surprised me. Um, I think anybody in the school would tell you that social skill and communication skill wise, they have just grown by leaps and bounds. Um, they've, you know, seeing now what the students can do because, you know, they're out and about in the school setting. It's opened up other doors and avenues for them. Um, some are in ROTC doing color guard. Um, they've been able to practice with the baseball team. They've been able to practice with the basketball team. So the students have gotten to know them, the teachers have gotten to know them, and it's just opened up more doors for them. Um, as a teacher, it was a blessing for me because, you know, just the, the position that we're in, we spend a lot of money out of pocket um, to you know, provide things for our classroom, um, whether it be cooking lessons, um, you know, just science experiments, different things for the kids to do. And, and to be able to have this grant to help us get this business started was a huge blessing for me, myself, um, just to be able to provide them with this opportunity and see them grow. Um, Dylan was very, very shy when I first started teaching here. Teachers speak to him and he would just kind of withdraw and not speak. Um, so now to see him, you know, speaking, calling people by name, um, asking if they need a hug, if they need a high five, it's just he has blossomed in so many ways and just grown, um, you know, and how he greets people, how he interacts with people. He, you know, can ask questions now, he can answer questions, and it's just been a, a good, building program for him and before he would not have like honestly he would have sat there and just not said a word it has just oh yeah he has grown by leaps and bounds it's been amazing to see the transformation and other teachers will stop by and even from the first time you know in 2019 when we started the coffee business to where he is now they will stop by and you know just comment on how much their communication and social skills have improved and how Tuesdays and Thursdays are their favorite days of the week now they look forward to seeing them. I feel people should support the Union County Education Foundation because it is a platform for teachers to submit ideas that um, they may not be able to fund, that the school might not be able to fund, and in order to benefit the students of the school and the programs that we're trying to build here. Um, it's a growing opportunity for our students. Um, you know, the math that we do that they don't even realize that they're doing, um, you know, the communication skills, the customer service that they're providing, you know, they're working, but it doesn't feel like work to them. So they're learning things that otherwise, you know, we might be stuck in a classroom doing a task box or, you know, a worksheet or trying to make those hands-on experiences until they graduate. But this is something that they can actually physically get up and do and see the benefits from. I think it builds their confidence, just knowing that they can do something, um, that they can be good at it, you know, that um, we're providing a service that people are thankful for and appreciative of, and, you know, seeing how the staff have embraced the business and interacted the students and supported us has just allowed their confidence to grow and, and, and enabled them to believe in themselves.